watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This is episode number three called Hazardous Plants to Identify and Know. In this episode, I discuss hazardous and poisonous plants you might come across as you develop your plant identification skills. I invite you to visit identifythatplant.com for more plant identification resources and information. Before learning specific plant identification skills, you need to find out which plants in your region are hazardous for you. By hazardous, I mean plants which might cause a skin reaction if you come in contact with them, and plants which may have thorns which could be hurtful to encounter. Poisonous plants can also present dangers if they are ingested. Frequently, a plant which I would consider hazardous will be labeled as poisonous. So when you are searching for information about these types of plants, you will need to use the phrase poisonous plants to find them. There are two good reasons to learn about these plants before learning how to identify an unknown plant. First and foremost, I want you to be safe outdoors. Secondly, learning about these plants actually is a beginning step in the process of plant identification. My recommendation is to find out which plants in your area are hazardous or poisonous. Study them well so that you come to know them and you have a visual memory of the plants. Learn how to avoid them and learn how to heal from exposure to them. Let's start by finding out which plants could be hazardous for you where you live. Do an internet search on poisonous plants especially a search that includes keywords for the bioregion where you live. For example, poisonous plants in Texas or North Carolina poisonous plants. You can also ask knowledgeable people, such as a master gardener, a county extension agent, or a local naturalist who might be found at an arboretum or botanical garden. Next, study the plants well. Find the plant in a field guide which shows what it looks like and gives a detailed description of it. Do an internet search on the plant. Go on a plant walk with a knowledgeable person who can show you the plant and ways to identify it. Make an entry in your plant journal in which you draw the plant, describe it, and paste photographs of it. The purpose of this research and thorough study is to develop a strong visual memory of the plant and possibly an associated visceral emotional response. Then, whenever you see the plant on your explorations, you will immediately recognize it, even when its leaves display some variation or when the plant is in a different growing season than the time of your initial study. After you have studied the plant for the purpose of recognition, then do more study to know how to avoid the plant by knowing its typical growing environment, for example and learn how to heal from any exposure to the plant. Healing can occur through contacting a poison control center, through visiting a medical practitioner, by using an over-the-counter medication, or even by utilizing a known medicinal plant to counteract the effects of the hazardous plant. Examples of hazardous plants throughout North America include poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac, and stinging nettle. Examples of poisonous plants, which pose a danger from ingestion, include pokeweed, yew, and water hemlock. Of course, there are dozens more plants which have parts poisonous to humans. Visit identifythatplant.com and enter poisonous plants in the search box. This will lead you to a page which provides links to other websites with information about poisonous plants in different bioregions. The Poisonous Plants page also provides links to detailed information about poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac, and stinging nettle. In summary, I recommend learning which plants may pose a hazard to you, studying them so well that you have a visual memory for the plants, and then practicing their identification on your plant walks. I invite you to share your experiences with learning about a poisonous or hazardous plant. Or share your encounter with a plant such as poison ivy at identifythatplant.com. Look for the blog entry titled, Hazardous Plants to Identify and Know. The next podcast will focus on tools we use to identify plants. 
Visit IdentifyThatPlant.com for more plant identification resources and information about how you can confidently master these skills of correct plant identification. You've been watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire.